Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a Project 10 Pan video. So I did a Project Pan last year. I learned a lot from it. I picked too many of the same items. I didn't feel like I picked things that I could use on an everyday basis. So it was hard for me to use things up. So I tried to learn my lessons and pick products that I feel like I can like use up pretty quickly, like in a couple months. So if that goes well, then I'm gonna start a Project Palette. What do you call it? I'm going to be starting a Pan That Palette Challenge. And so I'm gonna start with this first. I know a lot of these products are pretty used up, but I just wanted to go kind of easy on myself to ease this back in. Hopefully you guys will still enjoy it. And let's go ahead and get started. So first thing I picked was the NARS foundation. I've had this for, I think almost 18 months, so it really needs to be used up. It has 24 month expiration. So that gives me six months to use it up before I really need to get rid of it. So I figured I don't want this high-end foundation to go to waste. And so I might as well just get some good use out of it. Plus it still matches me right now before it gets really into summer and I get too tan. Of course, I can always bronze it up and everything. So this is a really nice medium to full coverage. You can build it up quite well. And this is the shade Duville or Light 4. Next, I have two different concealers, which I use for two different purposes. The first one is a full coverage concealer. This is the Makeup Forever Waterproof Concealer. So I know this concealer has been in my collection for a long time. It hasn't gone bad yet, but it needs to be used up. It's pretty close. There is some product still in here, but I mean, I use such a little amount of this that it'll still take me quite a while, I think, still to finish this up. But this has just been kind of neglected as I've been trying new products. But this is something I use on acne spots. I also can use it right under my eyes. Um, it's not really brightening, so I'll use the other one for brightening, but it does give really good coverage. So the product I'm going to be using for brightening is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Brightening Concealer. And as you can see, I really only have this much product left, so it's really not that much. But it's just another thing in my collection. I not I don't want to have a bunch of like kind of used products that are almost empty. So I'm just trying to get working through a lot of these things so that I just don't have like little ends and bits laying around, if you know what I mean. So this one I used today on my cheekbones to brighten it up. I also just used it throughout my face just to give me some nice light points on my face. And it's really thin. So when you're using it to highlight your face like this, you don't feel like you're getting this like cakey coverage all over your face, so I really enjoy it for that. Next is an eyebrow pencil. I'm actually going to be getting my hair done in a couple of weeks, and I'm going to a new girl. She's the girl that's going to hopefully take over some of my clients. So I wanna make sure she does a good job before I refer my clients to her. So I'm going to actually go blonder. I've had my hair kind of sombered for a long time just because I've been mostly doing it myself, but I just needing a pick me up, and I thought, you know, doing something fun, brighten me up a little bit. It would be great to do something different. I haven't been really blonde in quite a few years. I'm not like crazy blonde, not like platinum or anything, just like heavily highlighted. And so I need to use a lighter brow product. Just in case you're wondering, the L'Oreal brow, I've already ran out of it. Like that stuff literally lasted me like three weeks. So although I really like it for $10, you're gonna be spending that every month if you're gonna use it, so just FYI. So my Anastasia Dip Brow is gonna be a little too dark once I go blonde, so I'm going to finish up my Fabi Brow Liner in Taupe 01. This is what I've got on my brows now, of course, and it's just much more suitable for a lighter blonde, and so I think I can get some good use out of this. And I'll get a paper and measure all of these so when I do my check back ins, you guys can see my progress. Next, I didn't wanna choose a blush just because last time I chose so many blushes and I felt like it was really limiting. So I wanna be able to have different possibilities with blush. If you're wondering what I'm wearing today, this is seriously one of my favorite blushes. It's so pretty. This is Blush All Day from MAC. Um, so this isn't in the project pan, but I just thought I'd tell you what I was wearing. But I'm going to be picking a highlighter. This is the sample size of the Wisp highlighter from ColourPop. And I've already hit pan on it, and I feel like it's a beautiful highlighter. I enjoy using it. That was another thing. I wanted to make sure the products that I was picking were things I enjoyed using, that I wasn't like, ugh, I have to use this again, blah, you know? So I really like this highlighter. It's really nice and creamy. It gives a nice sheen to the cheeks. So I'm going to try to use this all up. Next is another face product. This is my Revlon Nearly Naked. This seriously needs to be used up. I just have a little ring left. I don't think it'll take me long. I have my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, which is similar that I really love. And I just wanna get down to having this one powder and then having like a loose powder. I don't feel like I need to have like so many different pressed powders in my collection. So I'm just gonna use this up and then just focus on having this one. So it's just kind of bulky. The packaging takes up a lot of space, so it'd be good just to use it up and kind of get rid of some things. Somehow I forgot two products. This is the Pixi Bronzer in Subtly Sun Touched. 
And this is just a nice all over bronzer and just warming up the face. And I really, really like this. And I think it won't be too hard for me to use up. You can just consider it pregnancy brain, but the other product I forgot was this black 24-7 Urban Decay liner. And I will measure this so you guys can see the progress. Alrighty, so almost done. 10 items goes pretty quick. I think last time I picked like 25 items or something, it, it was ridiculous. I don't even know what I was thinking. Um, but I've got a lipstick and a lip gloss. They're both what I'm wearing today. This is one of my favorite lipsticks. This is actually a Revlon Super Lustrous lipstick in the color Primrose. It's a really nice mauvey light pink and it's just great for every day. I even think with the super colorful eye that I'm wearing, which tutorial on this will be coming soon. Um, <laughs> I think even with this, it's nice because it's not so nude that it just like washes you out. It's just a nice wearable pink color and I really like it. I've had these MAC lip glasses for a long time and I know that this one still smells sweet and vanilla -y. It hasn't gone bad or anything, but I feel like the time is drawing near when I'm gonna have to get rid of them. So this is in Fashion Scoop and it's just a nice light pink color. It pretty much can go over everything. And where my lips have been feeling dry lately, I really liked having glosses versus just doing a matte lip. So I have that over the top. It gives it that nice fresh dewiness. And you know what, I think sometimes like matte is all the rage, but sometimes it doesn't make our lips look the best they can look. Let's be honest. Sometimes your lips look better when they have a little plump and juiciness, a little life, a little shine to them. So I'll be using this and I feel like I can top this over pretty much anything. So. And it's a small size, so it's not like it's gonna take me a ton of time to use up. So that's everything in my Project 10 pan. So be sure to check back. I'll be doing updates every month and I'll let you know how my progress is going. Hopefully I can get through these items in a couple of months so this won't take me like an entire year. That's why I picked these items. And then we can start on my Pan That Palette Challenge, which I already have a palette picked out. I'm not gonna tell you, won't ruin the surprise, but I'm really, really excited. Also, before I go, I just wanted to thank you guys so, so, so much for your kind, sweet comments on my life update video. You guys don't know how nice that was. I was not nervous to put it up, but it's hard to put up a video that's like so like personal and just like you just bearing your heart and soul to people. But I truly felt like you guys would understand and I felt like you guys are there for me and you're my friends. And I was right. Like all my comments were just so sweet and kind and just so encouraging. Doing that didn't make me want to stop doing YouTube. It actually makes me just want to keep going. I'm like, I was like, okay, I'm going to film again. I can do this. Like I did this eye tutorial look and I wasn't even planning on filming today, but I sat down to get ready and I was like, let's do something fun. I was like, let's turn on the camera. Let's see what happens. And I'm just feeling that weight off my shoulders, even when I'm filming, because I don't feel like I'm sitting here trying to be happy. And I can't tell you guys, why I'm feeling unhappy or why I'm struggling. Like, I don't know, just feels like there's not this wall of like mystery going on anymore. And so it just, it feels so much more comfortable and it's just so much better for me and happy. And um, so before we end this video, I found out yesterday what I'm having. And if you've waited through this whole video, you're probably like, Amber, tell me, it says gender reveal. Why aren't you telling me? So, bah. That was my drum roll. I'm having a girl! <laughs> so I'm so excited. I have two boys, so I I don't even know. I'm just shocked. There's gonna be so many changes. I'm kind of freaking out. I was for sure that it was a boy, but I had mentioned in that video that maybe I was feeling extra hormonal because it was a girl and I was right. So guys, send me your girl advice. Send me, I, I haven't had a baby in so long that I feel like I don't know what the new hot things are for babies, like what carriers and things are the best. So if you guys have suggestions for me, please, please let me know. And I'll try to do another pregnancy update in a couple weeks. And I'll let you guys know how it's going, what's going on, the things I'm buying, stuff like that. I'm just really, really excited. And with that, we have decided that we're going to move my sons down in this room. So things might be moving around a little bit in the next couple months. Of course, I'll be going to summer camp with my husband, so I'll be filming up there. So it might be kind of crazy, but as long as I'm here, hopefully guys will be here too. So we have bunk beds upstairs and there was room for a crib, but it's a really small closet. The room's seriously like 10 by 10. I'm like, there's no way I can fit enough girl stuff. Sorry, that would normally be the time to pick up my kids from school, but it is spring break, so I don't have to do that. <laughs> but. So the closet up there is tiny. The closet down here is much bigger. This room is actually bigger than the one upstairs. And 
they're hesitant about coming down here, but I think once we get their bed and everything down here, my husband or I will probably come down here um, until they fall asleep so they can get comfortable, make sure we have lights on, and then we're also gonna get like a monitor thing so we can see them and make sure they're okay and all that kind of stuff. So that leaves me the upstairs room. I'm going to paint it right now. It's like a dark green and light green, and I'm just gonna paint it gray and white like the rest of my house, like gray on the bottom. We have a little border and then just white on the top. So it'll be nice and gender neutral so you know when we do go to sell a house or whatever you don't have to worry about like crazy colors and that kind of stuff so this room i'm going to keep white just because i feel like they have bright colored pictures and because it's downstairs in the basement i don't want to like darken it up too much but that leaves me where am i going to film so because i'm going to be not doing as much hair i thought about well my husband suggested me to move my filming equipment into my salon so we'll have to see how that goes. I went in there and looked around, but I have so much other stuff right now. I'm like, where would this even go? I don't know. So it's gonna be transition period. I'm not exactly sure exactly where everything's gonna go. I also have like, in our fourth bedroom in the back, we, it's kind of a long bedroom that goes along the house and there's like a skinny section where I have all my craft stuff and I thought maybe I could like set it up in there but then I'd have like my craft stuff in the background. I don't know what I should do. I still think I want to try to film a salon tour before I move in there so you guys can see how it was set up. So for those of you that were wondering, just with being as sick as I was, I just couldn't get it done. I really, really tried but I couldn't get it done. But now I'm feeling better so hopefully I'm not giving myself a timeline because you know how I am at sticking at those. Not so good, but hopefully the next couple months before I move everything around, I can show you guys what it looks like in there and then we can switch it over. So that is everything for today. I hope you guys had a wonderful day and I'll see you guys later. Bye!